At $214 a second, BC's $57 billion debt is continuing to grow. And what better way to make British Columbians more aware of the load than to take that number on tour around the province? So we want to make sure people understand how much we owe. And then we want to talk to them about what government's priorities should be. The idea that government can solve every problem in British Columbia doesn't work. It's too expensive, we can't afford it, and it's impractical. So we want to talk about what are the important government services, how can we stop wasting money, and how can we do whatever it takes to stop the clock. But this debt can't just be wiped away overnight. There was a lot of talk in the election campaign of a debt-free BC. Uh, very good talk about it, but we're nowhere near being debt-free. In fact, we're nowhere near even stopping the clock. So we want to make sure people understand how much we owe. And then we want to talk to them about what government's priorities should be. The clock is getting a lot of attention during its stop in Kelowna as people pose to take pictures with the debt load that's expected to top $69 billion by 2016. It's really terrifying. It's what not quite as terrifying as what's going on in the U.S., but... What can we do? That's a very good question. The, the whole economy on a global level as a whole is going into debt, um, so we're kind of just going with the pace, but I don't, uh, it is a big number, yeah, unfathomable to most people, as well as me. We, I mean, the government should probably uh, focus on reducing the debt and, uh, you know, helping themselves out. And if that 57 billion number scared people, the debt per person in BC is 12,405 and climbing. This is specifically government debt. So this is the government spending money on our behalf. Some of it for very worthwhile projects like hospitals and schools. Some of it to balance the books and, and you know, wasteful spending. Not all of it is uh, some sort of nefarious evil debt. The clock will tour 30 cities in two and a half weeks with the final leg finishing in Prince George. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.